During the time of the pharaohs, the city of Karnak was a shining example of civilization that all other nations could only hope to emulate. Today, Karnak lives on, surrounded by the spirits of the past. However, something has gone terribly wrong. Unknown forces have seized the city, and great turmoil is spreading into neighboring lands. World leaders from all parts of the globe have sent forces into the Karnak Valley, but none have returned. The great power of this new empire is quickly crushing the best forces the human world has to offer. The only known information about this crisis came from a Karnak villager found wandering through the desert miles from his home, dazed, dehydrated, and close to death. In his final moments among the living, the villager told horrifying stories of fierce alien creatures that invaded the city, devoured the women and children, and made slaves of the men. Many of the unfortunate victims were skinned alive or brutally dismembered. Others were subjected to unbearable tortures, injected with strange substances, and then mummified while still alive. According to the villager, even the mummified body of the great King Ramses was unearthed and taken away. You have been chosen from a group of the best operatives in the world to infiltrate Karnak and destroy the threatening forces. But as your helicopter nears the Karnak Valley, it is shot down. You barely escape with your life. With no possible contact to the outside world, you begin your adventure ready to accomplish your mission, praying to return alive.
To begin your search, travel to Karnak and cross the high bridge on the east side of the village. Here you will find a great sanctuary that holds the first of the six mighty artifacts. If you happen to lose your way on your travels, return to this tomb and I will give you guidance. Fear not the power of the Kilmat, instead embrace the powers of the Egyptian gods. They will help carry you to victory.
know his six sacred artifacts, and your worth as a sturdy slave has been proven to the Council of the Gods. The mighty sandals of Ecomtet give you the strength to leap higher than mortal humans. Use this gift to scale the cliffs in the northwest corner of Karnak. Beyond the cliffs is a steep path that leads to a shrine in the mountains. The artifact hidden in this shrine is a gift from Sobek, god of amphibious creatures. Hmm. 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 
this dying land, and your quest for peace will bring you just rewards. A deep cavity has been excavated in the south, where there is rumor of a fierce weapon that engulfs its victims in a breath of fire. Go there now, and harness its power. Thank <laughs> you. 
you have found will provide safekeeping on your journey through the Hecate Marsh. A great palace that has been swallowed by the sea awaits you on the other side. Waste no time, for my soul is growing weaker as the Kilmot continue to draw energy from my course. Thank <laughs> you. 
is bringing you closer to the recovery of my mummified corpse. If you can defeat these forces of chaos, your heroic efforts will be rewarded by the gods. Go now and climb the highest peak in the valley. There you will find the last of the six artifacts.
are pleased that you have collected all of the six artifacts, but the pursuit for peace is not over. Seek out my corpse and return it to this tomb. But be warned, the Queen of the Kilmot Empire is furious with your doings and will tear your body to pieces unless you are properly armed. Ooh! 
Listen to me now, and I will give you my kingdom on earth. You shall stand at the head of the living, and wear the sacred crown of power and supremacy. You will rule everything on which the eye of the sun shines. For the praise of all nations will be laid at your feet, and you will live forever. Because I am giving you the gift of immortality. Leave this tomb now, as I see it forever, and follow the path back to your people. May the gods shine on you and give you peace for all eternity. of your heroic efforts, the Valley of Karnak is no longer in danger. At last, the people of Egypt can begin rebuilding the new kingdom. The world rejoices and a huge ceremony is held in your honor. A renewed sense of peace and happiness is adopted by everyone on Earth. Several centuries later, your immortal power is proven superior to all other living creatures and you become king of the world.